But it's benign. You can be 98% safe here. The yuppies are generous. If they're not conscious, they're at least generous, and they at least won't shoot you or cut your throat. If you really want to see a bad place, go to Tucson, where everybody is an asshole and everybody has a gun. Yeah, but I mean, uh, you, in previous years, you've said how this place is going to pot. Now you're trying to defend it, the, yeah, uh, the wealthy still, class? It's a decent place. Well, there's no working class here. The working class can't afford to live in Boulder. But the yuppies here are bland. They're nice. They're a little bit thoughtful. And at least they're not vicious. They're thoughtful? You think so? Yeah, I think they're somewhat thoughtful. Somewhat. Slightly thoughtful. It's benign. You can guarantee survival here. Boulder is recession-proof. That's what screwed me in '75. Was the recession. Let's let's keep let's keep with the current state of Boulder. It's a good place. It really is. You have to go to a bad place to see, like Tucson, to see how bad people can really be. But isn't be. it kind of turning bad a bit? It's turning greedy. You know, just but that's that's everywhere. You can't do anything about the system. You know, the people who run it, these financial people, are so far out of it, and you can't, you can't dent them. You know, rents will continue to increase, and... You want to talk that way. Rents will increase, and they'll just be more greed, and then they'll do something stupid to the economy, and they'll lay off a thousand computer workers now, now that the NASDAQ has fallen. It's a good place. It really is. You have to go to a place like Tucson to see how bad people really are. Is there any way to get from the bottom up in this town, though, if you start with nothing? No, I don't think so. I think you can survive. I don't think you can start with nothing and come here. You have to have a little bit. There's enough of a safety net with the SSI that you can just barely survive. How about the criminal justice system here? I don't know. I, I wasn't a criminal. The cops are kind of idiots. Have, this, you, have you been treated like a criminal? I mean, the way you a few looked times, and the way you acted. A few act. times I figured I would get shit on, but I was always cool. So that's that's it. That's the all you got. You aren't psychotic. The, I mean, I got assaulted by a psychotic yuppie, my brother's yuppie friend. About to get. But it's not a psychotic place. It's not vicious like Arizona. Well, they, they, uh, the most common area is the coffee houses. Do you find them open to... Uh... Yeah, they're nice. The kids, the kids in the coffee houses are nice. They give me extra coffee. I can make an extra dollar a day playing the guitar. What about Penny Lane, though? Oh, it, he's an idiot. It's he's an idiot. <laughs> why? I don't know why. That's his problem. Ask him. <laughs> I mean, you got thrown out, but the last time I walked in here with Sarah Dawson, who was America's greatest composer, and he was about to throw us out, and she just said, well, we're drinking coffee, you know? <laughs> so it was cool. But he's a jerk. And the kids who hang out there are pretty much jerks. 